Hi, my name is Nev, and I just want to muck around a little with Audacity so that we can have a look at sound waves in their analog form and how they combine. So I'm just going to create a new track and generate a tone, and this tone is going to have a frequency of 202 cycles per second, or hertz. The amplitude is going to be 0 0.3, in other words, a third of the unit up here. This is a graph of the uh, combination of the mix of the signals that I'm creating. So, and it goes up to an amplitude of almost one. Here's our signal here. If we want to view it a little more clearly, I could zoom in. That's control one. I'm going to do that here. We can see the waves. Zoom back out, control three. Now, Let's play our sound. I'm actually going to move our sound just above here. I've got three sounds and I can mute them at different times. Let's have a listen to all three. You can hear the beating. I'm now going to mute them and let's see, there's a long beat and a short beat. That's the long beat. Take that out, that's the pure 200. And here's the 200 and 202. The long beat and all three. Okay. Now, I have highlighted all three of these. And then I have done generate, no, I've done mix and render. And I've ended up with this track here. So if I mute these ones and we play and I unmute the mix, you can see the combinations in here. Let's see what that sounds like. And uh, so we've got the same. Now what I'm going to do is unmute these and we will actually hear a totally different tone come through at different times. And the reason we're doing it, this is just so that you can experiment here with Audacity yourselves and create different sounds, different frequencies and hear what the combinations do. What we're listening to is the beats and it's where the phases of these uh, waves actually pile up on one another to form a big full amplitude or loud sound. So here we go. We're playing and now we're going to add the 202. Hear the sound change. Now the 201 and now the 200. And I hope you found that of interest.